Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I decorate my house with thrift store finds. I enjoy decorating my house and I absolutely love to go to the thrift store and find inexpensive and unique items to decorate with. I think this is the perfect way to give your home that collected over time look, which I absolutely love. So today I'm gonna to take you around my house and share with you some displays that I've recently put together using items that I've shown on my Thrift Store Thursday video. So my hope for today's video is to encourage you to go to the thrift store, have a look around, see if there's anything that you can bring home that will add some character and some cheerfulness to your own home. And also, I hope that I can give you a little bit of inspiration on how to use those items once you actually have them home. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we'll start in my bedroom where I'm going to pair together two things that I've recently picked up. The first one being this gorgeous clock radio, which I'm in love with. And I'll also be using this very pretty Eiffel Tower ashtray, which I found. I'll be using it as a trinket tray. I decided my bedside table will be perfect for my new radio, so I placed it towards the back, angling it slightly towards the bed. I then added the Eiffel Tower ashtray off to the side in front of it, and then to round off the display I decided to add this vintage book, which I think is very pretty with its floral design, and then a pair of reading glasses to finish off the look. Just a quick, easy display, which I am enjoying very much on my bedside table. Then next, I found this photo frame and put in a kindergarten and a curtain photo of Zoe in it. I think it is so cute. I have this riser on my dresser that holds a teacup that holds my earrings and bobby pins and then this little trinket tray. So to the mix, I decided to add in a vintage book in the middle. And then I placed the frame on that and kind of scooched it back towards the back of that. And then I added this cute little Scotty dog figure, which I've had for years and years. And then the medallion with my dad's name on it. And then I have this little itty bitty thing that was off of a chain. And I just always love the colors of that. So I just kind of added that in there as well. And I like the look. Then moving out into my living room, I have this little table off to the side of my dining room table and I decided to group some of the clocks that I've been finding recently on it. These here that I've pointed out are all new clocks to me and I think it's a great little display. I found this crock right as I was starting to decorate for fall and I knew right away what I wanted to use it for and I never even showed it in a thrift store Thursday. I also found this book, it's an old dictionary and then this is an old boxing book. So I decided to use both of those along with the crock on my desk in my dining room as part of my um, autumn decor. So I stacked the two books and then on top of that I added the cute little crock. And then I filled it with these turkey feathers that my mom had given me that she finds them all the time down at the cabin. And then I added this cute little squirrel figurine. I think I got it from Target a couple of years back. And then in front of that just a little baby pumpkin. Next up are these gorgeous silver napkin rings, which I found a long time ago and still haven't used. So I decided to use them as decor as I put them around some plaid napkins and then piled them in an iron stone bowl. This next item is another one which I have had for a long time. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but I just haven't found the perfect place for it. But I decided that didn't matter. It was going up on a wall somewhere because I wanted to be able to see it. So I decided to hang it on this little wall between my hutch and my kitchen and I think it's perfect here. And how adorable is this little deer ornament which I found at Target. Oh my goodness, I just think she's so adorable. And then moving into the kitchen, I found this iron stone bowl. I absolutely loved the shape of it and I just thought it would be a good thing to put next to my kitchen sink to hold 
things like soap and my dish scrubber and absolutely works out perfectly. This next item was just recently sent to me by a friend of my channel and oh my goodness I love it so much. It is a match holder and look at this, it's a little section on the front comes off. I've never seen a match holder like this and I adore it plus I love the gorgeous little flowers on it. So I decided to hang it up in my kitchen window seal which was what was suggested as well and it is the perfect place. I just think it looks amazing and I love it so much. This next item I found is a vintage kick decorator, which I thought was super cool. I had never seen a metal one like this before, but then a couple weeks later, I found another one, which is almost identical, except for it has a different tip on it. So I decided to use both of them in my kitchen window seal, and I placed them by my mixer and my blender, and I think they look adorable. And then just for fun, I decided to add a cookie cutter with a bright red handle. This is actually the beginning of a new collection for me, and I think it looks very nice right here. For this next section of the kitchen, I used quite a few new pieces, like this gorgeous silver and gold covered dish. I am so in love with this thing. And then I also used this set of salt and pepper shakers. I love the shape, which is so cool. I found this antique um, coffee pot quite a while ago, but I have yet to use it. Love its handle and its lid. And then look at this gorgeous teapot. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty and so much detail on it. A friend of the channel sent me this set of gorgeous flatware with a starburst on it, which I was absolutely delighted to receive because I haven't been able to find any of my own. So I was excited to use those. And then another friend sent me this pattern of starburst, which I was delighted to find out there was more than one pattern to collect. So I want to use these as well. And then I found this um, gorgeous apron not too long ago. I absolutely love the red and white and all the nice detail work on it so I'll be using that along with this berry wreath which I picked up as well. To start decorating the shelf I added the gorgeous covered tray right to the middle. I then added the teapot to the far left side of the shelf and on the far right side of the shelf I added the coffee pot. Next to that I added a hop knob glass filled with one of the sets of the silverware that I wanted to use and I just sort of fanned it out so it kind of stood up nice and neatly and I think it's a very cool look. So then I added another hobnail glass to the other side with the other set of silverware inside that and I absolutely love the look. And then between the milk glass and the tray I tucked in the adorable set of salt and pepper shakers. And then to sort of mimic the other side, I picked out a very tarnished set of salt and pepper shakers from my collection and added them to the other side of the tray. And then to add just a little bit more interest into the mix, I added a stack of vintage um, butter pat dishes in between the milk glass and the coffee pot and I thought that looked nice. So then I decided to add another smaller stack on the opposite side next to the teapot. At this point I decided I wanted the coffee pot to sit just a little higher so I placed a stack of plates underneath them. And then of course to keep everything symmetrical I added a stack of plates underneath the teapot as well. Below the shelf on the handy hooks I hung this gorgeous apron which I absolutely love. And then next to that I added this berry wreath as well. And with the wreath hung, I felt like this area of the kitchen was decorated very nicely. If perhaps you are wondering about the flower stack that I have hung above the shelf, that is a recent project that I shared in my last thrift store makeover video, which I will link in the description box if you are interested in that.
So that is how I use some of my recent thrift store finds in my home decor. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and like this video. And I would love to know down in the comments what your favorite display was or your favorite item that I used in one of my displays. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell because I do a thrift store Thursday haul every single Thursday along with DIYs and home decor here on my channel. So there's lots to see and enjoy. Alright, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it, as always, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye now.